This was the best decision in my whole entire life besides having kids and getting married. Hello, lovelies. Welcome to week 40 of my weight loss surgery journey. It has been 40 weeks since my surgery. That is crazy. I had surgery in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Elias Ortiz and through alighterme.com. I will come back to this subject because I'd like to talk to you guys about that experience. But real quick, let's get to my stats. Week 40. So my highest weight was 245. My starting journey weight was 220. Uh, and then I got down to 208 during the pre-op diet. Then I had surgery 208 and now I'm down to, according to the hospital, um, scales which are about two to three pounds off from what my my home scales say I mean up higher so it says 143 on the hospital scale so we'll see when we get home um, of course if you follow my Facebook page on sleeved Mel 2015 also in if you are a youtuber and you're a weight loss surgery patient I have a group called um, surgery weight loss YouTube and discussion uh, it's down in the description down below you can find it only if you're a youtuber or a weight loss surgery patient can you join so anyway um you'll be able to see my before and afters and um my weight progress as well i usually post in those places on facebook so that way you, you could also follow me like i said on um sleeve mail 2015 on facebook i'm going to wait on the weight loss but i want to show you something that was so amazing to me. My starting waist was 48, okay? So 224 inch uh, things is 48 exactly. So I start at 48, let's put it right here together. Now watch this. That's how big I was. That's how big my stomach was around my waist. I am freaking in shock on how big this was. I'm like, oh my gosh. You have no idea that this just is such an eye opener to me. You guys see how much I have lost there? That's such a, that is a 48 inch width waist. I was at 48 inches. One, three, two, three, three, 34. I'm, I'm 34 inches. So I've lost what, 15, 16 inches off my waist? I think that's right. I can't do math. But anyway, that's a lot of inches to lose off your waist. I am so ecstatic, ecstatic about that. I still got my, you guys, I still got the nasty skin as we all do. But I'm so happy I lost that weight. And look at this. I haven't seen these puppies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I haven't seen these puppies in a long time. Hello, neck bone. It's nice to That's see lovely. you. Okay, so I still hate my, I know I am so happy about my weight loss, but listen, my hair was so important to me that losing all this hair that I've lost is really devastating to me. I'm not joking, it has been devastating to me. I really miss my hair, I hate short hair, I'm always wearing headbands, and when I try to style my original hair, I just, I get so frustrated and sometimes I even cry about it because my hair was important to me. Of course my weight loss is more important, don't get me wrong. I complain about my hair a lot because I miss it. I really miss my hair and I am so impatient of it growing back. I have, let me show you, I have flurries growing back. I don't know, if can you see this? Do you see the shortness? I have hair growing back. It's just taking so long to grow back and it's growing back in a thick, dried out, almost really kind of curly type of hair and it's so horrible. And, I'm, and that was the one of the devastating side effects. Listen, my hair loss is worth my weight loss, but still, I have the right to complain about my hair. I love my hair. And I'm going to complain about it and I'm going to continue on complaining about it. I want my hair back. My hair was important to me as much as my weight loss is important to me. So, okay, so let's talk about a lighter me. 
Um, we had someone ask me about my experience through a letter meaning and instead of typing it out, I'm going to talk to you about it. Uh, I researched for three to four years on how to get surgery and at first I was going to get the lap band. And I'm so glad I didn't get the lap band. My insurance wasn't covering it. I fought and fought. We appealed it four times. I had a lawyer for this kind of thing and the insurance just said, screw you guys. I'm not, we're not paying for it. You could be on your deathbed and we're still not paying for it. So their exclusions were so strict that they, they said pretty much they don't cover it at all. So the insurance decided that they're not gonna pay for anyone's in surgery no matter what comorbidities they had. They just, just decided not to cover it at all. So I was at a loss. So I didn't get the lap band. In which really in the long run, I'm pretty grateful because I see a lot of people who got the lap band move over to the sleeve. The sleeve was a little bit more uh, permanent and easier to deal with and there's a lot of slippage. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with the lap band right now. In fact, a lot of doctors are not doing the lap band anymore. And so <clears throat> it's starting to fade out. So I'm actually pretty glad. So I've been researching for like three to four years on how to get this surgery because I know that my doctor had said, you're very unhealthy, you're sick, you gotta do something about this. And I just couldn't do it while I was in the hospital like this and blah, blah, blah. I actually went, I was a, actually part of like 20 weight loss surgery groups, different weight loss surgery groups. And I got involved in some of the sleeve groups on Facebook. And so I started asking around, has anybody had surgery in Mexico and what was your experience? So I watched several other YouTubers who had surgery in Mexico. And then I was directed to a lighter me on Facebook. And then I was able to ask questions, talk to the doctors, talk to the nurses there in Facebook, got on their website, I filled out their form, and then I talked to a nurse who lived in San Diego who is no longer working with a light or me. I got more and more comfortable after talking to the doctors and watching everybody's story. I was looking at before and after pictures. I was asking how you went to Mexico, how is it over there? So I did a lot of research. I researched the doctor, Elias Ortiz. I researched on him up until I couldn't research on him anymore because I couldn't find any more information on him. So I really did my work. And I felt comfortable enough to go through a lighterme.com. Now, convincing my husband otherwise, that was a whole nother story. So after convincing my husband, he was able to take out a 401k loan so we could pay it off with cash. I paid $4,600 for the surgery. That included the hotel stay, the surgery, the anesthesia, and the hospital. And um, we thought that we can afford that. So I started, and we act out of everything, including the pre-op diet food and um, getting my passport and all sorts of stuff that goes along with this. I have spent $6,000 all together on everything between food and surgery and everything. So I thought that was an amazing deal that you can't get here in the U.S. Now when for people first talk about, oh my God, you had surgery in Mexico, don't they botch there? Listen, Botching happens anywhere. It's happened in the UK, it's happened in the USA. In fact, I know a few people who got botched in the USA. It will happen anywhere. You don't have to go to Mexico to get bad surgery. There are doctors, even in my own town, who don't know what the hell they're talking about or what they're doing and they mess everybody up. It's happened, I've seen it with my own eyes here in America, in California. So. When people are like, oh my God, you went to Mexico? Isn't that the worst place? No, it's not the worst place. Everywhere can be a worse place. Yeah, I'm ranting right now. And it's these stupid TV shows that are so dramatic that find the worst case scenario and only do it out of Mexico or another country and show you that it's the worst place to do it. Listen, a lot of me is very professional. They should be in America. They're very professional, they're clean. You don't expect a, don't expect a uh, 
Beverly Hills uh, Hospital in Mexico. Don't expect that. If you go to Mexico, don't expect a Beverly Hills type of hospital. At least they are clean, they know what they're doing, they know how to do surgery, he went to school for it, and the nurses there are amazing. Everybody was so nice and so amazing. I had one of the best experiences. It almost felt like a mini vacay, except without all the frou-frous and, you know, oh my gosh, you know, there's a crack in the wall. California, there's cracks in my house in the walls. I mean, come on. People can be so stingy sometimes and they think that they're on a vacation when they go to Mexico for surgery. I have seen some of the worst comments against a lie to me, like, they didn't give me an extra pillow or they don't have internet, which they did. Oh, and some people are just complaining like little babies. And I'm like, you're going to Mexico. You're not gonna get fancy schmancy crap out there. That's so stupid to even expect that. I went because I needed this surgery to save my life. So I went without expectation, I, except for getting it done the right way. And Dr. Ortiz did it the right way. The hospital was clean. That's all that mattered to me. It was a hospital. It wasn't in some garage like some people think uh, that's what happens in Mexico. You know, and some people get scared. Uh, over Mexico even Mexicans I've told who've been to Mexico are like oh my god you went to Mexico so there are slum areas in Tijuana and anywhere else there's slum areas in San Diego there's slum areas in Texas there's slum areas in the UK I mean everywhere there's gonna be slum areas not everybody is gonna go that route and I did not go that route I did my homework I did my research so I'm going to promote a lighterme.com if you were looking for another route and insurance will not cover your way, I recommend going through alighterme.com. They are amazing people. Don't expect fancy, just expect clean and getting the job done and you will have an amazing experience. If you wanna watch my experience, Remy and Abraham and everybody out there were so entertaining and so fun and they are they they were our cab drivers or taxi drivers they drove us around to and from the airport to and from the border they make sure everything's safe with you guys they go over the rules on how to cross the border if you guys want to know go to the facebook group ask for you know stories if you want more stories other than mine so I've talked a lot about that um, today. I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that I did my homework before making this decision. I knew what I was doing. I wasn't just going into Mexico blind. I knew what I was doing. I did my homework and um, uh, I get so frustrated when people are like, oh my God, you went to Mexico? Why? And I'm like, well, let me tell you why. <laughs> let me tell you why. Because number one, insurance wouldn't cover it and then I needed to do something. And this, this was the best decision in my whole entire life besides having kids and getting married. The best decision in my whole entire life that since I started gaining weight and I cannot be happier with my body, with myself. I am feeling a lot better menti mentally, especially because I went through a hell and back several times mentally. I'm feeling better mentally, physically, spiritually, all that stuff. I couldn't ask for anything better right now. I just couldn't. And I could complain about my hair. I can complain about not losing weight. Um, as fast as I want to or getting to my goal weight as fast as I want to but I'm telling you right now it is worth it I'm a huge promoter of weight loss surgery especially the gastric sleeve uh, I think it can help a person really quick I'm not going to hang on the subject for uh, for a moment but I'll give you my opinion not being fat for weight loss surgery. How do I feel about not being fat uh, for weight loss surgery? There are people out there who would pay cash at like 150 pounds to have weight loss surgery. Listen, to each their own. I'm not gonna judge those who want weight loss surgery. And here's why. Because there's so many people out there who uh, have breast implants to tummy elective surgeries. And going to Mexico, for some of people is an elective surgery. If they want to stay healthy, 
go for it. I'm not gonna judge them. I don't think it's right for people who are 250, 300, 400 pounds to judge those who are skinny and getting it. And I, yeah, I think 150 pounds is skinny, but to each their own. It's, it's not my place to tell them if they can or cannot have surgery. Um, you know, if they have the money, then let them do it. Let them do it. Just shut up and move on and worry about your own life. It's not our place to tell somebody why they can or cannot have surgery, no matter what elective surgery it is. If they want it at 150, 150 pounds, let them. It's not our place. This is a free country and Mexico will let you do anything. So it doesn't matter. So they're gonna do it um, regardless of our opinions or not. So I would just, just stop complaining about others who are skinny and getting the surgery. Yeah, we work our butts off and we want to have the, and a lot of people can't even get covered. That's why I promote weight loss surgery in Mexico because if insurance doesn't cover it and if you really want it that bad, you're gonna find a way. I found a way and I know you can. This video is going on too long. Thank you so much, so much for all your love, support, prayers, everything that's going on with my son. Thank you for commenting. I truly appreciate it. Shout out to everybody. And here's the shout out. Coca, 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 Bradley, Phyllis M, Lori Castle, Don Hoffman, this is Ryder, Terry Strawn, Lisa Dodds, Pat Brittany, Aaron Y, Nicola, Dennis, uh, ooh, thank you, Lego Master, Nurse in the Making, Sweetie Mix, what up, girl? Pam Duran, thank you. This is Metrics, thank you. Fit and Free, Emily R and Y, somebody watching you, Tina's VS Journey, Sassy BSG, what up, girl? Lena Coogan, Lindsay Rossard, what's up, girlfriend? Joanna Jean, mm, Puppy Breath, and Puppy Breath, Chrissy Erickson, Akoya Barker, somebody watching you, uh, Talisha Fernandez, uh, let's see, Girl 83, Vivin and Carla King, a fat chick, oh, Tanya Early, Kimber Bryant, Mary Oliver, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, Stephen Hansen, Tracy Cano 4, Tondong Hulk, DST4XY, Rose Penny, MIRI, Sarah Smith, uh, Tina Marie, that's me, Tina's BST Journey, Andrea's Girl, Billy Tomcat, Christ Follower, uh, BST, what up girl? Hey listen, Christ Follower, BST, you got this, I know you can do this, uh, I'm, I'm keeping you in my thoughts and prayers girl, I know you can do this, Chemistry Queen, Indira, I don't know if I say that, Indira, BST, Paula's BST, Life, Melissa L, More of My Life, Stephen Moore 30, Jen Bacon, uh, Mary's Madness, Teresa Westfall, Paula's VSG Live, Cartwheel VSG, Lori, 2004, Carolyn May, Cheyenne McPhil, Tammy McFusion, Oh My, uh, Ruin Y, uh, uh, Prepper Dino, Josette Grady, Killing Fat Amy, woo -woo, haven't seen you in a while, in a while, Nicole VSG, Heather VSG, and that's as far down as I'm gonna go. Thank you, every single person that has commented, uh, liked, shared, and subscribed, truly appreciate it. Oh, I love you guys so so much and we will see you guys all next week for week 41 Hopefully I'll have some more news on my weight. Hopefully I have lost a couple more pounds All right, love you Ciao, bye. Six. So uh, So um, Okay, so uh, I uh, Fan page Ooh, that was a good one. Excuse me. You like? I can. I will believe that. That's a Roman Reigns WWE shirt. Uh. Okay. Uh, wait. Hello. Hi. How are you? Ooh, got me there. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, the nurse has walked in. Okay, back to what I was saying. Whoops. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, just throw everything everywhere. Okay, pillows. No. I'm at a loss. Man, I look like I'm, I'm having a cancer patient. Seriously. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm scared. I gotta pick up my exercise. I'm all over the place. I need to start all the way over. This is absolutely ridiculous. My mind is just gone. I need to start over. Everybody, welcome. Oh, wait.
See, I'm, ah, this is so annoying. I am so out of place today. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when I have lack of sleep. Let's try this again. <laughs>